back, dear viewers. You're still watching Night Cruise on Night TV. And in this segment, dear viewers, March is truly a month for Egyptian women. While the world celebrates International Women's Day on March the 8th, Egyptian Women's Day falls on March the 16th because it's Egyptian Women's Day. Uh, it's different than the uh, entire world. The entire world celebrates it on the 8th. We celebrate it on the 16th here in Egypt. Uh, when women uh, here in Egypt took to the streets, uh, the first mass demonstration against the British invasion uh, here in Egypt during the revolution of 1919, and also Mother's Day, which is a very special day that we dedicate to every single mother here in Egypt, on the 21st of March. Dear viewers, in this context, we have with us a very uh, special guest that we are delighted to have in our episode today, our dis distinguished guest, Heba Ez, and she is a writer. Tell us more about uh, women's achievements and the role in various fields, threats and challenges. A very good day, uh, Mrs. Heba, and it, um, uh, we thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. and I'm, It's really my pleasure to be here with you. Okay, Heba, how do you assess the achieve achievements accomplished um, for women lately and by women lately? Well, actually, uh, we are so proud of the achievements that uh, women are uh, doing, the achievements that women are uh, achieving, because uh, women really achieved uh, so many progresses in their life. They have uh, passed through so many obstacles and so many challenges. So in my view, I see that the challenges um, uh, that women pass through lead to those achievements. So I see that uh, this is really a bright side and this is really a track, a uh, pathway for uh, women to do more and more achievements. The recent years have witnessed a lot of pro progress to the women. Uh, the appointment of female uh, as the first governor, eight female ministers in the cabinet for the first time in history, etc. How far did this progress work in favor to women's success? Well, actually, um, when we see that uh, in the cabinet, in the ministerial cabinet, in the foreign affairs, uh, in the parliament, uh, we see that women are taking places, I think this will lead to more progress in Egypt. Because uh, not only men can uh, have and acquire so many skills, but also women. Uh, women have more skills and you know that women and men integrated together, they can uh, complete each other. So when we see this, uh, I can say quota or this uh, weight in, uh, of women in the parliament, in the, in the ministerial cabinet, we can be so proud of the achievements that women are doing. And also um, women has, uh, have, they, they have so many skills. They have so many qualifications. Uh, we see in, uh, outside the women can be presidents. Women can be um, members in the parliament. Women can, be, can lead businesses. So uh, I think this will lead to progress in Egypt. The new side, the new view of women they are doing will lead to more progresses in Egypt in everything, in economics, in politics, in everything. Um, the percentage of women representatives in the parliament uh, rose significantly to 15% from only uh, 3%. How far did this significant percentage work in favor of the women's interests? Well, um, when we have, uh, uh, when we see some uh, of the quota in the parliament, we can see that women can uh, do more in the parliament. They can, um, like, uh, for example, they can do some achievements beside the men. Uh, not only men can do these achievements and can, um, can lead the parliament. So in my point of view, um, I see that uh, uh, God has uh, integrated some skills, some details inside women, different, different from men. So those skills, when women focus to uh, like to uh, employ their skills and their qualifications in the parliament, um, surely and definitely uh, they will make uh, some progresses. So um, I see this is really a significant step for women in the parliament, and I see that will be optimistic view in Egypt, in all of Egypt. Okay, Miss um, Heba. Um uh, uh, women voters uh, recently um, has been very dis distinctive 
uh, over the past few years as they turn out in large numbers to say their own point of view and their own perspective and their own opinion and who they want and who they don't want. How do you read this? Uh, well, female voters, um, uh, when they have, uh, of course, in, in different places, uh, uh, women is not only um, uh, like a householder, it's not only a housekeeper, it's not only a wife, it's not only a mother. Uh, she can be successful as a mother, as a wife, and also as a voter uh, in the parliament, as a voter in the political side. Uh, so, uh, of course, um, uh, I see this uh, with pride. I'm so proud of what women are doing. And uh, we can see so many examples, successful examples in Egypt and outside Egypt. Even Egyptian female outside, they can take places, they can make achievements, they can achieve their ambitions. So I see this is really like an optimistic side in Egypt, uh, in the, um, I can say, um, in the track and in the, in the road of Egyptian female in their in their path of, of their career uh, in the parliament or in the foreign affairs, in the ministerial cabinet, in Egypt specifically and uh, in all over the Arab countries in general. Okay, um, uh, what are the challenges that face women nowadays and how would they overcome all the challenges that they face? Well, unfortunately, I can say that there are still more challenges, there are still more obstacles. Uh, that face uh, women and women are um, trying to 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 do their best in order to encounter all of those challenges and obstacles so for example we can see that um, uh, s some of the quota of the of the parliament need to be ra more raised and also in the foreign affairs need to be more raised but um, actually what happened already by the government really a huge success and a really a huge achievement and it shows that how government, how our government really respects women. They want them in the, um, in the parliament, they want their vote, their, their votes, uh, they want their, uh, their power. So um, I think that those challenges uh, will, be ha will be like overcome uh, in the future by like the near future uh, because the government, our government really uh, focuses uh, to participate and to integrate women as well in the in everything in the in their life. Uh, Heba, how do you assess the variety of Egyptian women in terms of age and religion, education and economic, uh, who achieved the unprecedented success in the different fields, not only in Egypt but also abroad? Well, actually, I will talk about broad before in Egypt because uh, we are so proud of. Um, Egyptian a woman participation outside, we can see that um, the female footballers, we can see the female in sports. Wow, we were really so impressed by their achievements uh, outside Egypt. We can see that they won the, the International Cup and uh, we are so proud of their achievements of their when we ha we see interview with uh, one of the those uh, female footballers or uh, female participate in, in any uh, sports we can see their dream uh, uh, success we can see their successful dreams that they have ever uh, dreamed and they have achieved also in education the best um, uh, well educated females outside they are Egyptian so actually uh, this will not happen, never happen, except for encouragement by the government inside Egypt and successful stories of women inside Egypt, so that we can see their successful stories outside Egypt. Okay, uh, President Fatah CC stressed that the government has uh, laid down a comprehensive strategy to empower women in all walks of life. Uh, contending that such a, a notion is at the heart of Egypt Egypt's ambition, uh, vision or ambitious vision for 2030. How do you evaluate the government's effort in empowering the women? Well, uh, I see that the president is really um, uh, can focus more on women empowerment, and uh, I see that this is um, will be followed with more. I can see uh, or I can say more steps by the president, and this will not be the only step. Uh, so we see that our president and our government um, focuses on women participation and this is like I can see that 
uh, concrete steps or just startup steps. So uh, in my point of view, we will see in the near future more examples uh, will be empowered, more female examples of course, will be empowered by uh, the President Abdel Fattah Sisi and also by the government, not only in the parliament, not only in the um, ministerial cabinet, uh, but also in the foreign affairs. So we see that there are so many female uh, ambassadors and uh, uh, the code of diplomats to be accepted in the, in the foreign affairs uh, uh, ministry are increased as well. So uh, I think that will be followed by more steps. And of course, as I said before, this will lead to progress in Egypt in general. Heba, what is the role of private sector and the NGOs to support the empowerment of women? Of course, uh, you and women um, are doing so many uh, efforts and they are doing their, their best in order to empower women all over the fields, so of course, specifically the political field. Uh, so we see that there are uh, so many steps taken by UN specifically and also UN women to empower, to enable women and also to encourage women to be th with their side. Um, for example, we can see that they are doing so many workshops. Um, uh, actually, I'm, I'm always assigned as interpreter for, for those workshops uh, to interpret. Uh, and I can see in, the, in those workshops and those events how they are making so many agendas to empower women, to enable women, in order also to encourage women uh, uh, for, like, for example, to shorten the minor marriage for women. Um, the uh, lack of education, uh, the violence against women. So all of those steps uh, taken by international, uh, international organizations and NGOs, um, I can see that they are really uh, huge efforts taken by them in order to encourage women and to be with their side. Okay, uh, one of the most dangerous threats uh, we uh, do face lately is the population. How far women uh, rights could be the key to slow the population growth and how could we raise the women's uh, status? Uh, well, of course, there are so many threats uh, because uh, when, uh, when we see a female um, uh, example uh, has been succeeded, of course, you will see some people against the success. And um, uh, unfortunately, sometimes inside uh, the house of this woman, for example, maybe his, her husband, maybe um, uh, one of her family or all of her family. Uh, so those are some still hindrances. Not all the people have that, this kind of awareness to encourage their, uh, their daughter or um, their, their mother or their wife. So still there are some obstacles uh, in my point of view because of the lack of awareness still um, we, we can witness. What are the uh, challenges that are still facing women in Egypt? Uh, of course, there are some challenges, um, but uh, in order to, to, for women to take uh, over some positions, but in my point of view, the steps taken by the president and the government, um, I think this will shorten and this will, um, you know, will uh, 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 sometimes um, uh, overcome the challenge and obstacles faced to women. So, of course, I'm um, so optimistic that uh, those obstacles and challenges uh, to Egyptian female and to women in general in all over our Arab, Arab countries uh, will be overcome. Uh, March the 21st marks Mother's Day, which is a very important day in our lives, of course, a lot the life of every mother. What would you like to say on this very special day that we are, uh, of course, uh, waiting uh, to, uh, for to see you? Well, uh, this is special day is really special to all of us, to all of our hearts. So I'd like to say that uh, congratulations to all the uh, women uh, all over the world for what they are doing, for what they are feeling, for what they are overcoming of challenges, uh, for everything really they are doing. I'm so proud of, of um, every woman in, the, in this world and I'm so proud of what they are doing. So really uh, inside my heart, congratulations to all of them. On this very special note, wishing you a very uh, happy Mother's Day, uh, Ms. Heba Ez, a uh, writer. Thank you very much for joining us in today's episode of Nile Cruise. Thank you very much for your very informative knowledge. Thank you very much for very playing a very important role as a writer in the, of course, a concrete change in the in women empowerment in Egypt, of course. Thank you very much for being with us in today's episode. Thank you so much. It's really my pleasure to be with you. Dear viewers, this is all. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll be back again. Don't go away.
تحية تقدير خاصة للمرأة المصرية العظيمة بنات وسيدات النيل وصانعات السعادة والنباء عظيمات مصر إن تطور ورقي أي مجتمع إنما يقاس بدرجة تطوره الثقافي والأخلاقي والمعرفي ويرتبط ارتباطا وثيقا بتطور ثقافة ووعي المرأة ومساهماتها الفاعلة في بناء المجتمع وتنميته وتستمر مسيرة كفاح المرأة لتحصل على حق الانتخاب وممارسة الحقوق السياسية كاملة وقبل ذلك الحق في التعليم وشغل أي من المناصب والوظائف العامة وصولا لهذا اليوم الذي نرى فيه المرأة في جميع ميادين العمل الوطني إن المرأة المصرية أثبتت جيلا بعد جيل وعلى مدار التاريخ المصري الطويل أنها طرف أساسي في معادلة الوطن اليوم الدولي للمرأة الثامن من مارس